Now with our island opened in 3D Studio Max, we are ready to create a plane of water. So to do that, let's click on the Create tab and choose a plane. Draw a little plane on your screen. You can set the color right there to whatever color you want. I'm just going to use pink. And then go to your Transform tool. That will let you place it where you want it to be. I'm going to place mine at 0, 0, and we'll raise it up a little bit to about a level of 10. And then we also want to change the size of that plane, so you do that by selecting the Modify tab. And then click on the um, length, make that 400, and the width 400. Um, the length segments and the width segments, we're going to make that 75 by 75. If, it, if you make them too small, then it'll have a tr trouble exporting it to the Vicious Engine. And we can change the height of the water by changing the Z value of it, but setting it at 10 gave us a pretty nice level because we can see the beach around the island, we can see the grass, and it looks nice. So now we want to give our plane um, a, a material. So I'm going to select the plane and press the M key. Click on the f empty material. Click on standard, VE material and under material we're going to select water. That's one of the materials that comes with the Vicious Engine. You can see it changed there. The surface, we could use S-Room Collision, but then we'd be walking on top of water, so we don't want to do that. Let's use the S-Water. That's the surface that comes with the Vicious Engine. And I'm going to click that and drag it on top of our plane and drop it. And we also want to name our things as we go along. So right now, our, we have our water plane selected. So instead of calling that plane zero, I'm going to click up here in the Modify tab and type in plane water so that we know what that is. I'm also going to click on the island itself. And if you haven't named it already, I'm going to call it plane island. And then if you go to the uh, Select by Name tool, which is right here, you can see everything that you've created so far and if it has a meaningful name that will help us later. I'm going to click cancel. So in this tutorial we added a plane of water to our 3D island. If you want to see it rendered, click on rendering render and the render button. And that is our 3D image with the plane of water on top of it.